It's been quite a year for the City of Greer Parks and Recreation Department, one that has included new sights and new sounds that led to a new honor. The department was honored in November by the South Carolina Recreation and Parks Association as the top parks and recreation agency in the state. We've worked so hard and uh, our staff have, they've done a tremendous job this year. And not different from any other year, we just had lots of different projects that culminated and uh, in this year and all just came together and they, they've just done a fantastic job. Facilities played a key role in the department's honor. The events complex at City Hall, which includes City Park, offered such programming as outdoor movies and concerts. One of the more popular venues is the Disc Golf Course, opened at Century Park. As spring arrived, renovated facilities at Victor Park and Stevens Field opened for play. The city's Freedom Blast Festival on July 4th proved even more popular. Uh, it was wonderful. We had thousands of people come into Greer that day. We had wonderful music and food and just a great festival. Uh, we couldn't have had a better weather and it was just, it was phenomenal. The news for the department got even better on December 9th when its athletics department was also honored as the best in the state, giving Greer a rare double win at the state level. Well, I was absolutely thrilled. Um, this is the first time that our athletic department has been awarded uh, athletic department in the state of South Carolina. Um, we worked very hard and long on the application and uh, really looking back we didn't realize what all we've accomplished in the past year until we put the actual application together and sent it in. One of the highlights for the athletics program has been the growth of offerings for adults. The response from the community has been encouraging. Well this year our adult sports programs have more than doubled uh, from the past previous years. We've added um, two new softball leagues, we've added uh, a new adult Hispanic basketball league, um, we've also added a volleyball uh, open free play program that we have right now and in the future we hope that that will transpire into a league also. Um, a lot of people don't realize that the adult sports in the city help supplement the youth programs greatly so um, we depend on those adult sports and we were very glad that they have actually doubled in size this year. Electronic communications also moved the department forward. Parks and Rec now offers online registration, status of events on the website, and a telephone hotline to check on events. So what's next for South Carolina's top Parks and Recreation Department? What we st will st continue to strive to do is just to provide the best programs that we can do. We can always do better. Um, we'll certainly strive to, to make our programs better, uh, our facilities, to continue to improve. and. Um, Hopefully we'll just keep having banner year after banner year and uh, do better each year. And we certainly are able to do that with the support of our community. A final award came at the South Carolina Recreation and Parks Association's annual meeting. Longtime City of Greer Parks and Recreation Department Director Ted Lindsay was inducted into the Association's Hall of Fame. Well, you know, Ted was the first director um, of the Parks and Recreation Department here in Greer and uh, since I've been here and I'll, I will have been here four years in January um, he's always been right there uh, if I had a question if I needed anything Ted has just stepped up and helped us in every way at events that we have he's usually right there with us um, he and his wife Susan both and um, you know what he's done to this department I, I think he exemplifies the the professionalism, uh, certainly the characteristics um, that anyone in my profession or I think in many others would, would strive to have to um, become a member of the Hall of Fame. Just, just I can't say enough good things about, about Ted.